o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave the purge election year of next let's go <laughs> What's up, y'all? You are now rocking with Brian's Cosigns. I am Brian Gunn. So in the new movie, The Purge Election Year, the tagline is, Keep America Great. Hey, listen, I'll let y'all ponder that, but my platform is going to be to review this movie. So, in the third installment, Frank Grillo, our hero, is back as Lee Barnes. So, Leo Barnes is now head of security for the senator played by Elizabeth Mitchell. So, now she's trying to run for president. So, if she wins, y'all know what's going to happen. Her agenda is ending the purge. But the founding fathers ain't trying to hear that. So, they're trying to come up with a plan to stop her by any means necessary. But here's the thing. Now, if you're a fan of The Purge, you already know what's going to happen. You know, violence drives the movie. But in this third installment, the plot is a little deeper. I mean, as far as plots go for The Purge. The plot may seem a little simplistic. Get a murk a killer. It's the subplot that's meaningful. I don't know if they did that because of uh, today's political climate, but somebody actually gave a damn and gave us a meaningful script. They gave us a meaningful storyline. And that's not to say that the past two movies haven't been like that. This one is more insightful. Another element that revitalizes this purge is the supporting cast. There are a lot of new characters, but the characters all have interesting backstories and if you're not careful you may end up really feeling for these characters and i think they did that because they knew in the past that the movies did have those supporting characters but their storylines and their backstories weren't as intricate as the ones we have now elizabeth mitchell is the emotional centerpiece of this movie and that's established from the beginning her and Sam Grillo's character, as they interact, she starts to break him down emotionally. So you can tell that in the previous two movies, he really didn't have that much of an edge emotionally, but now we can tell that he has layers. And that's another thing that I, I enjoyed about the movie. When you have the new characters get together, their, their interaction is perfect as far as these types of movies go. All right, y'all, enough about all that. You want to hear about some killing, right? Hey, listen, six million ways to die, choose one. You name it, they got it. I'm talking heads getting chopped off and rounds of bullets riddling folks and just, it's a damn violent murk fest. They got cats coming from out of town to participate in the purge like it's a damn death wish bucket list or something. It's crazy. But, hey, with all of the glorifications of violence and the intriguing storyline and new characters, there are some things that just don't work and it wouldn't be a purge movie if it didn't. There's this girl in the movie and if you go see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, she just keeps talking about, I want my candy bar. I want my candy bar. I'm like, yo, will somebody please this is a girl a candy bar so she can shut the hell up? It's just absolutely, uh, it will just drive you crazy. She really can't act. I don't know if she was like a producer's friend or something like that, but hey, I guess you'll get it how you live. Also, there are some predictable dialogue going on and that was the case with the previous two movies so i guess they need to work on that uh they really didn't work you know outside of that 
this is a really good movie for it's actually it's the best of the three so having said that i'm going to go ahead and co-sign the purge election year to the fullest election year let's keep america great so when you leave the theater you will probably talk about this movie and tie it into what you're seeing going on politically now the purge election year have you seen it do you agree do you disagree put your comments down south let me check them out and as always take your ass to the movies <laughs> i Brian's co-signed, yeah.